Welcome back to CBS Mornings. And today in our series, Protecting the Planet, we find out how NASA is using powerful tools in space to help find solutions back here on Earth. It's the latest in our climate report. The in the latest climate report, rather, the agency says that 2022 was the globe's fifth hottest year on record, part of a long-term warming trend attributed to climate change caused by human beings. With this in mind, NASA is shifting its high-tech resources to gather more data on how our planet is changing and has been changing. Senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy takes us inside the space program's new Earth-focused missions to help us better understand our rapidly warming world. When you think of NASA, this is probably what comes to mind. Shuttle launches blasting astronauts into space, high-powered telescopes capturing otherworldly images, and rovers exploring far-off planets. But with our own planet now undergoing dramatic and devastating changes, NASA is turning its eyes back towards Earth. NASA is the tip of the spear for climate change. Randy Friedel is deputy director of Earth Science at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. He points to NASA's new Earth System Observatory, a series of five advanced satellite missions that will monitor nearly every aspect of our planet, from bedrock to atmosphere. We turn with a renewed focus to our home planet of Earth. It will give NASA a 3D view of how the Earth systems are operating and impacted by climate change. Are you kind of looking at the vital signs of planet Earth? That's exactly what we're doing. And really looking at the heartbeat of the planet. Just a, a whole host of things that we are tracking every single day. And the liftoff. In December, NASA launched a rocket from California carrying a satellite called SWAT, which stands for Surface Water and Ocean Topography. This $1.2 billion mission is the first radar to survey almost all of the world's surface water, nearly every ocean, river, lake, and stream on the planet. Basically, this thing can survey 6 million bodies of water every three weeks? Yeah, that's right. It can cover everything. So. Project scientist Paul Rosen says SWAT will help to better detect and plan for floods, droughts, and rising seas, which are expected to make many coastal areas around the world uninhabitable in the decades to come. And this is a NASA animation of its upcoming mission, NISAR, scheduled to launch next year in a joint project with India's space program. The satellite will use two different radar systems to track subtle changes in Earth's surface to less than a half inch. This will allow better detection of ice sheet collapse and the melting of glaciers. It will track deforestation, which contributes to global warming, and also monitor groundwater supplies and even soil moisture, which can help predict the risk of wildfires. So this is a pretty impressive piece of machinery. It's unprecedented, and we're covering all of the land and the ice-covered surfaces every 12 days twice, once when the satellite is going up towards the North Pole and once when it's coming down towards the South Pole. We had to suit up. Does that look all right? Good to go. Good to go? Yeah. All right. And get any dust particles blown off of us before they would let us in here. This is the big clean room, high bay two. NASA's so-called clean room where they're testing NISAR's sensitive mechanics. This is it. Before shipping all of this nice. over to India next month. Is this the most advanced radar NASA's ever put up into space? Yeah, I'd say by far it's the most advanced radar. And NASA plans to share the data from all of these missions with scientists and governments to better understand and adapt to climate change. So you've been working on this for more than 10 years. Yes. How excited are you to get this thing up there? Words cannot express how excited I am to get this thing up there. It's very exciting to me. And it's one more set of eyes in the sky NASA will have staring back at Earth. For CBS Mornings, Ben Tracy, Pasadena, California.
So it's nice to understand what's to come, but some things you just, it's a harsh reality when you look at the future. Oh, they're not bringing back good news. They're, they're not seeing good things. Mm. Uh, and it, we seem to be, be counting on some kind of technological solution in the future because we're not making changes in the present to avoid what scientists say is coming. It sucks for the coastal communities. They're yeah. so beautiful. But there's still time for us to change. There is time. To help the planet. Yeah, it's true.